So as far as the process to, to construct this, what you'll need from me and the tools here is you'll need that groove cut. So we're gonna do that today, all four pieces. never do this myself. You could, you just gotta have the right tools, man. Yeah, I just gotta have about a $5,000 saw. We have just made total changes to the table. The legs are gonna be exposed. It's gonna be big daddy. Well, the crazy thing is, when you smell this old pine, I mean, it literally smells like pine saw. You think that's where they got the name from pine saw, you think? I think so. It's pine saw. I've never, I've never smelled pine like this before. If you're smelling a hundred year old plus. Legs is the, is the next step and then it's just assembling and it's done, man. It's time to cut this big main beam, y'all. It's a big beef that'll come up through the table. You'll be able to see the grain. This table has gone from just building a basic table fun project to it is going to be a legit piece. Daggum Johnny Morris could walk in this house and be like, dude, how did you get that? And then I'm gonna be like, well, it only took me having a bunch of friends to go find some wood and then weeks of cleaning the wood up, having a buddy with a workshop that knows how to work these specific tools. But then we get something awesome. So here's the part I'm really nervous about. I got this 12 inch miter saw. I got this big board. I think I can cut through it cleanly, but this stuff is so hard. Let's put some glasses on and let's make some cuts. That's totally gone now. Whoop, that's gonna fall right off. See all those rings? Every line in there, every ring is a year. This is back in the day when uh, forestry, ecology, and conservation wasn't really big yet. So they were taking these old, old trees down. So they're rare. Square that off, perfect for the table. So the other ones look just as tasty. I got a few with the piff already taken out. Some still have the piff there. I may end up taking it out. Now it's figuring out what kind of shape do we want? Do we want a full square? Do we want that piff to be accented on the table? I just don't know. So I had the ability to cut these boards with a miter saw, but what I don't have is the ability to make, make these things plain and straight to look like actual straight table legs. So y'all know what time it is. It's time to head over to my buddy Lance's and his awesome workshop. Right now we're doing something called planing, which is basically taking the board and flattening it out. Cleaned up. Remove the roughness. Because this is so old, it's actually might be uh, like railroad ties. You know, they put like oil yeah. and stuff in them. It, you think it could be? Could be. It has a little bit of smell to it. That's oh, what gives it the weight too. Yeah, well, it's heavy. Yeah. So I think the coolest thing that we can do with this, and to make it just structurally sound where it'll last forever, all my kids that I'm gonna have will not be able to break this. Oh, 20. Hopefully. 20. 25, maybe. Leave the piff. Well, how do you spell that? It's P I F F? Yeah, don't, don't. Don't really know. Yeah. I don't really know. We don't know how to spell piff, but leave the piff and then the rest of the sides are going to be smooth. Okay. So it's like the inside still has the character. Okay. But the outside's flat where we can work with it perfectly. I like it. We're going with that plan, guys. It's going to be phenomenal. Let's get after it. We have bandsawed, we have reference edged. 
it's time to keep it going. These legs are gonna be four foot, or <laughs> wow. Four inches by four inches. 30 inches tall. 30 inches tall. We're done joining, it's time to plane. Now we're gonna plane. So that roller right there, with all the little teeth on it. Cuts the top. So do you have to roll it in from the other side now? Yep, we do. Okay, it so it's in the exact opposite of what we were just doing. I was wondering why you couldn't go, yeah, the teeth only go in one direction. Can't. So, very important to get that right. If you don't do it right, have you ever messed up on that, Lance? No, I have not. Okay, good, because that's probably that bad. Machine, someone that buys that machine knows what they're doing. The How much part. does that machine cost? Uh, that was like 3500 3500 Just for a, just for a little cool yeah, food shop. Two, it's two machines in one. It's true. You are getting the two for one. That's how you sell it to the wife. Four and eight. in 150 plus year old boards that it's like a black sappy stuff but whatever it is we have breathed it in fully look, look at all this dust look at that i think we need to step outside for a minute to get some fresh air pine's normally not that dark yeah that's definitely some tar in there or something yeah that feels too good yeah let's get some fresh air oh, it's raining yeah i know i started to get a headache dude dude i think uh there's oil in that. <laughs> See, Lance, Lance gives me these. I want this come out! There it is. Fine. Well, we've opened up the garage vents, aired it out a little bit. Feeling much better now. tabletop. Texas. <laughs> takes me one day to do a fishing video. It takes me three years to do a woodworking video. <laughs> All right. Now, ladies and gents, we got our pocket holes ready to go. Look at that, just stands up on its own. Such strong legs. Oh, it looks so good. How, how does this go together? I don't know. Maybe a little something called Craig. Craigging. The Craig oh. jig. It's been around forever. Guarantee, nine out of 10 of you at home, your kitchen cabinets are made with this. Guarantee. Dude, that thing is solid. It's not going anywhere. I tell you what's not going anywhere is the oil in that wood. <laughs> <laughs> That is looking salty.
this is actually wider over here. So close to being done. We're just cutting these to exactitude. Each board is different. Each has its own character. Uh, it's not really rough. This is pretty precise, but what I'm gonna have to do after these are all cut, I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to sand and I'm gonna a little have finesse. to shim. A little, little finesse. finesse. A little finesse. A little just, a little finesse dangle on them. And then they're gonna fit in just like, like a Just glove. like floating underneath the dock, a little finesse. Just a little skip. I would probably get three support pieces, just see how they're sitting. So then you can glue them down to those support pieces. You might have to brown nail them. I didn't have anything envisioned when I went and picked up that wood, but now, <laughs> absolutely money. Pottery barn and restoration hardware, they $2,700 for that. $2,700, you think that's what this would be valued at? I don't know, they did, they'll charge you. I ain't paying it. You don't have to, you can make anything. I think it was the last time you were over here, the last 30 minutes, we came up with this design and said, this is it. go find some table legs, then you brought me over uh, some oil and gas, two by fours. <laughs> Teamwork, man. Can't thank you enough, dude. Hey, this is this is why I do woodworking. It's a pile of uh, pile of rubbish, pile of junk, pile of lumber at the store. Bring it home. This is what it turns into. Absolute creative man making things out of wood. You gotta respect that. It's gonna be so good, guys. So incredible. It's got a sharp looking edge from the eye, but when you feel it, it's, it's gonna be nice. So I can feel that side's a little rough. It's just like a little hippo needs a little back scratch. Just tone that rough skin down a little bit, but. I just put the nails in. You want to finish the last nail? Where? Right here. That's the last one? Yeah, it needs a little tamping. Don't you're, damage it. This is my favorite table I've ever built. I'm kind of scared. You're gonna give me the honors? Well, I trust you. Easy, easy. Don't hit the nail directly. Yeah, we'll say you got it. Good job. <laughs> So, y'all want to see the final look? Stay tuned! It has been such a hard effort to get this thing the way it is, so go ahead and hit the like button. And I hope you like the look of this, because I'll be doing a lot of videos in here. And this has been my goal for, uh, for the tree house. This has been a goal for uh, a vision I've had for a long time, just to have a, a studio 
man fish cave, whatever you want to call it, where I can make videos for y'all and to just enjoy it for myself. Tell my kin and my, my offspring about my fishing stories. This is what I want to do when I'm old. I'm just sitting here and have my coffee and be like, hey, me. I heard tell you about that time I caught that 16 pounder on top water down in Brazil. I don't know if I'll talk like that, but I will have some awesome stories to share in here. And this is a story in itself, y'all. So, thanks for being here. I hope you have a blessed day wherever you are. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, final phases. Here we go. Put your masks on.